Alright, this is going to be a short video of just some thoughts that I have about people that are interested in what they call so-called survival lighters. Well, you know, it's kind of a broad term, you know. A lot of people think that, uh, you know, petrol lighter is the way to go and maybe a butane is kind of handy, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, the pe petrol uh, in your uh, flood lighter, you know, uh, drying up on you and not being able to work, you know, when you really need it to work. And uh, I understand uh, all those uh, thoughts, you know. But uh, what I got here is just some average lighters that I got. And let's just start out with butane, okay? This is a single butane torch lighter here, okay? This one here does have it on. You can lock it on as well. Alright. Very nice. And in my opinion, this is probably the best torch lighter that I have. As a matter of fact, this, you know, this is a four burner quad torch. And I'll tell you what, this thing has never failed me. If, if I had to carry a butane lighter, check this out. Look for them on eBay. You can find similar ones for about four or five dollars out of China. This is an excellent lighter. The only bad thing about them is, is they eat a lot of butane up quick. But if you need to get a fire started quick, you know, and you're not in extremely cold weather, extremely cold weather in these butanes, you're probably going to have to hold them in your hand a while. But, you know, uh, the, the only downside to butane is if, uh, if your PCO doesn't work and you don't have some kind of a uh, ignition system like that butane gas, you're going to be in a little bit of problem area. Then you got like what they call the, the type here that has the permanent match, so to speak. This is a newer design. It's got a little O-ring around here, so it this won't dry up, you know. So, well, see if I can get a lid here. I don't think the fluid, you know, well, isn't that something? You know, I had that lit about a minute ago, but uh, let me see if it's got any fluid on it. Well, there's fluid there. Anyway, look at there. I can't even get that lit up. I think I need to pull the wick out a little bit because it's burned up. But anyway, you know, if you want something to just stick in your pocket, this is a good item to have. Now, a lot of people say a Zippo. A Zippo is an excellent survival lighter. You know, if that's all you got, it'll work. But the worst part, the worst thing about Zippos is that they dry up too easy. Because Zippo lighters have a lot of extra holes in areas here. You, you know that uh, I think down in here and they get a lot of air to them and the wick isn't really very it pulls out really kind of easy so they're excellent lighters but to me they're not the best petrol lighter that I think you can get you need some that seals up but in my opinion if I had to have one lighter this would be the lighter right here this is a petrol lighter. I got this out of China. Weighs about three times more than the. I think this weighs what? 50 some grams? This weighs 150 some grams. Milled out of a solid piece of brass. See the recessed inside here? It's because there's no ring going around this. Alright, so when you close it and look at the surface, the surface made so tight. I've stuck this thing in, the, in water maybe for five or ten seconds and got it out and it, yeah it will get a little water in there possibly a little moisture but it has never failed to fire up and one thing I like 
best about this lighter is I have filled this lighter up and just set it aside and picked it up four months later and and uh, it fired right up okay it, that don't happen with your Zippos. Let's just face it, people. That doesn't happen with your Zippo lighters, okay? And there ain't nothing wrong with Zippos. You know, I got one. But, you know, you got to think about your situation and what you really need one for. If I was in extreme cold weather, uh, you know, and I had to take one lighter, I'd, I'd pick this. Be honest with you, if I had to, in any, if I just bug out bag, this is lighter I'm taking with me right here. This and a, and a Firestone, you know, flint rod. And, you know, with some magnesium and some cotton balls with paraffin and, and stuff like that. But as far as lighters goes, because you got a petrol lighter here that once you fill it, it won't evaporate quickly. And not only that, you can go down to your local hardware store or automotive store or paint store and pick you up a gallon of naphtha, N-A-P-T-H-A, all right? If you don't know what that is, it's like a paint thinner type stuff. But if you, if somebody would, if you used to close your eyes and somebody's removed the cap and let you take a whiff at it, if you know anything about fluid lighters, you're going to smell and you're going to say that's lighter fluid. Well, that's exactly what it is. And you can get a gallon of it for anywhere from fifteen to seventeen dollars. I don't know about you, but a gallon of that, you know, and a lighter, lasts you a long time. The only other thing is you got to have some good flints. Okay, get you some flints. You can get on eBay and, and get a bag of flints, you know, for cheap. You know, I got some in here. I think I bought here some of these ones from China. I don't know. There's there's several hundred in here. Best flints though I ever had. They got guys got these on eBay right now. It's these right here. All right, best flints you can get right here, bar none. I don't care what. Best flints you can get. Now, the Chinese flints like this, they work good. They work better in Zippo type lighters than they do in uh, lighters, say like this, that have a uh, smaller flint wheel up there, okay? Because they got a real small flint wheel. So, uh, but just so you'll know. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Uh, you know what, but if you only got one lighter, hey, you know, you only got one lighter. If you can't afford another lighter, the lighter you got is better than nothing. So, anyway, that's my thoughts on that. And, and uh, you can pick this up here on uh, on eBay. They run about 38 bucks shipped from China. And, uh, you know, these things are solid. I mean, excellent lighters. They come in various colors. They come in polish, but I don't like polish because it gets scratched up. It looks terrible. This here finish, it looks the same. It looks like this. No matter how long you had it, it looks like that, you know. It, it, unless you're rubbing it in your hands and polishing it up, but it just looks the same. I had a brass one of these, polished brass, and I ended up selling it, you know, because it was too nice to to burger up, and I want something I can carry around. And these also come with a black, in a black, you can get it in black, and it looks like a, kind of like a, uh, a, uh, you know, it's not a what you call a chrome finish, but it's 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 like a silvery chrome type. You just have to get on there and look. And they come in a, a polished end here with a matted look right here. But uh, as far as durability, you know, this is a Zorro lighter. Okay, I did modify this one though. I took the insides out and I pulled the little bitty wick that these things come in with and I uh, cut off I think this is two millimeter this is woven cotton 100% I actually had to get this out of uh, I think it's the UK and I, you know, it took me a little bit to get that in that lighter. But I'll tell you what, 
I stuck about eight inches of it way past uh, the end of the lighter. I wove it up in there and packed it in there with a the cotton. So I got plenty of wick and this thing's ready to go. This is, if I have to pick one lighter out of all the lighters I got, you know, grab and go, this is it right here, people. Anyway.